Okay, so last week on the channel, I showed you how to set up your iPhone or iPad running playback with your X32 and using just a uh, USB cable to send audio from playback into your X32. Now that's a really great solution if you're close enough to your X32 console uh, that you can connect to playback using a USB cable. But I think most of us most likely have our X32 at front of house and we have our iPhone or iPad uh, on stage with us running tracks. So in that case, uh, we can't do that. Now you could buy a USB extender on Amazon, but it's not going to work in this particular setup because the amount of data we need to transfer, the speed in which we need to transfer it. So that gets thrown out of the window. So what do we do next? So I wanna show you a very cool box that I've got sitting right here. This is the DN9630 from Clark Technic. What this does that makes this so cool is we have a USB connection here and it's going to convert USB into AES 50. Now, if you look at the back of your Behringer X32, I have mine sitting next to me, despite the fact we're going to talk about doing this over a long distance. Mine is sitting right next to me uh, in a rack. Uh, but if you look on the back of it, um, there's AES 50 A and B ports, right? And this is how you would connect like a S16 stage box. But we're going to connect uh, this Clark Technic box uh, to uh, our X32. So two ways to make this happen. One, we're going to grab a super long Ethernet cable, right? We're going to run this from uh, our uh, Clark Technic box over to uh, our X32. Uh, we could buy a hundred foot, 200 foot, whatever it is, long ethernet cable to directly run from this box back to the X32. But what if you have a S16 stage box, a S32 stage box that you physically plug things into, XLR cables into, um, and then that has an ethernet cable going from it to your X32. What's really cool about this is in this scenario, you could also connect this box to your S16 or S32 stage box, and it's going to carry those additional channels on your ethernet cable and not use up any of your physical ports. We'll talk about that in a moment. So let's continue to make this connection happen. So uh, I have my box here the uh, the DN9630. I'm going to take the other end of this e Ethernet cable and uh, plug this in here. Now, the other end of this is going into the AES50A port on my X32 at the moment. Okay, So let's continue to make our connection happen. So there's uh, our Clark Technic box. We're going to take uh, this box here, plug our USB cable in here on this side. The other end of this is going to go into our adapter. And this is a lightning to USB. I believe it's called a camera connection kit. Uh, adapter. I'll link to this in the description of the video. Uh, and then I'm going to take just a lightning cable, which is connected to a power brick that's going to power my phone, as well as power uh, this box uh, to give us enough power to, to make that happen. So I'll plug this in, you'll see uh, up in the upper right hand corner, um, that light up to say that it's basically powered. Okay. And then now I'm going to look at this box. You can see we have power here, right, on the KT USB. Uh, and you can see that pop up and show on, um, on our interface here. That's showing that uh, that interface showed up. So let's go into playback really quickly. Then we'll go over to our, uh, our X32 and we'll talk about the settings we need there. So we'll go to settings here. We'll go to buses. And you can see click and guide, smart routing is pre-routed, all those tracks to buses and buses to outputs. So I'm going to choose this list. And you can see in this drop down, I have up to 32 channels selected here. So this is basically looking and functioning just like um, my X32 did. So it's seeing 32 channels that I could send, channels 1 through um, uh, 32 available to me. I'm going to just leave this set the way it is. Again, so I'm going to use smart routing and just leave this to the defaults, OK? So now let's go over to our console. I have X32 edit running just so I can access my console uh, and share my screen to see this. We're going to go to the routing side now and we want to choose our inputs. We, we need a, a block of 10 inputs um, and we want to set this up to where we're going to use channel 17 through 24, 25 through 32. Now in our previous video, we used our card inputs for this. This time I'm going to use AES 50 a inputs um, because that's how I am connected um, uh, from my box here. Uh, to my X32, okay? So uh, I'm routed to channels one through eight from uh, playback here, and then channels nine and 10 are coming here, nine through 16. Okay, so if I start on channel 17, and then I go to channel 25, so 17, so this is essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That block of channels right there is uh, what playback is coming down, okay? So again, in playback, when I see uh, channels uh, 9 and 10 here, or I see, let's go to something that's easy for me to do math on, drums 1 and 2. Uh, that's showing up uh, in my X32 as channels 17 through 18. Now, I mentioned before, 
this is uh, if I'm doing this particular setup, I'm going to run my Ethernet cable from my DN9630 directly to my X32. But what do you do if you have an S16, S32 stage box? What you would do then, let's say we've already got our stage box connected to our console. In this particular case, let's uh, connect the AS50A port from our S16 to the AS50A port on our X32. That connection is made. It's set up. We're good to go. Okay. Now, let's connect uh, from our DN9630, kind of same deal that we did before here. We've got this connection, right? The other end of this Ethernet cable is going to go into the free port on our S16 or S32 stage box. So in this case, the free port on mine is the AES50B port, okay? So I'm going to plug uh, this box into that. Here's what's really cool is all the physical inputs on my stage box are still open. They're still available. I have not used them. But uh, even though this is carrying 16 uh, uh, physical channels, analog channels over an Ethernet cable, it's also going to uh, uh, carry even more channels from this box over that same Ethernet cable. Here's how we set this up. It's really straightforward, really simple to do. So let me show you over in X32 edit. We'll go to routing. Um, my stage box is connected to AS50A, so I'm really going to keep these routings the same. And let's just say in general, this is what I'm doing. Channels 1 through 8, 9 through 16, these are my physical inputs. But if you look at AS50A, even though the S16 has 16 physical inputs, 17 through 48, I'm not great at math, but I believe that tells me that's 32 additional inputs that I could use. Maybe not, 16, 24, whatever, you could do the math. But here's what's great about this. I can go 17 through 24, make this um, uh, on this right here. I can make this channel 17 through 24 like we did here. And then channels 25 through 32, we're going to select that and make that channels 25 through 32. And what's nice about that particular setup is it's going to show up on my console exactly the same way it did as if I directly connected. Now, how in the world does that happen? Well, again, the S16, these are our physical connections. And then uh, AES50A, uh, channel 17, uh, that same Ethernet cable that's going from my S16 to my X32 is going to carry the the uh, the audio signals from my DN9630 here. So channel 17 is actually going to function as 1 through 8 and then 9 through 16 here. Okay, And so, yes, 32 additional channels could be carried uh, on one Ethernet cable uh, if we had enough inputs to use that, which is really cool. So with this particular setup, I can use my stage box to send my physical inputs from stage to uh, my X32. And then I can plug in my DN9630 to that stage box to carry 16 additional channels from playback into my X32 and then not eat up any of my physical connections, which is great. And I don't need a audio interface to make that happen. Well, I guess in theory, in this particular example, in this particular case, the DN9630 is functioning as our audio interface, which is great. And the connection to our stage box is Ethernet. And the connection to our phone is this USB connection here, which is great. So uh, if you are a worship leader, someone who likes to run tracks on stage, uh, or you're watching this and going, okay, I use playback, but I'm not in a church context or whatever, but this really helps me, um, then I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I post a new tutorial, a new piece of content, every single day at 10 a.m. Central. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, you'll be notified when I post new content. Uh, and if it sounds interesting to you, then click in, watch the video. If not, you can join me uh, the next day or the day after that. Thanks so much for watching uh, this tutorial. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.